we've done paragraph one, paragraph two, uh, paragraph three. This was about, you know, this was about knowledge. This is about student-centered. So I'll put the student. What's the last paragraph? Yes. So we're going to be thinking this is all about that study, okay? This is going to be about that study. Read it over. Read paragraph four over. I'll put that idea up on the top here. What are some images that stick out? Studies suggest that they are what? Complementary and intertwined. So these two things, the student-centered approach and the knowledge-based approach, they complement each other. They support each other in learning. All right, let's look at this, how they summarized it. Okay, take a moment. Take a moment and look at this one right here. Based on these scholarly studies, uh, knowledge uh, and the individual, they promote each other. They promote growth. So as a writer, you can, you can find other ways of saying complementary, right? You're going to be shooting for the summary, 150 words. That's roughly around eight sentences. If you think about it, you got one really good sentence in the beginning. Each one of those supported paragraphs could be two sentences each. And then you have a closing sentence. Something on the lines of this would get you around 150 words. Maybe some of these sections here are, are three, but, but if you shoot for eight sentences, you're probably in the range of 150 and you'll be okay. Does everyone from your packet, I know we, we focused on this one today. Um, in this one here, this is 150 words, okay? Does everyone see how this was broken up? Like this is paragraph, this is the first paragraph. I'll number them. This is the first paragraph, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth. I like this way. I think this is very nice. Uh, it breaks the, it up into sentences, and I get it. I know this is one sentence. It's not really a paragraph, but it sort of organizes the information. Okay, so I would say this. Summarize each, par each, each paragraph and make it be its own mini, mini paragraph. Does that make sense? Yes, it's easier to read. The grader's going to like you. They're going to like, thank you. Thank you for making my life easier. This is that other version. Does everyone notice that it's just, it's a really long paragraph? So it forces the great, it's 150 words, same length. It hits all the same ideas. But it just forces the grader to be like, ah, oh, this is paragraph one, and this is paragraph two. I, I, you know, it makes their life a little harder, and uh, and and we want to try and do things that make their life a little easier. And that way, there you're going to get more points. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. All right, team. Um, really dig into all the case studies and use those practice exams to help you. Okay. Pass your exam. Go on to the next, go on to the more important things, okay? There's much more important things than these exams. It's helping your students. So, so get this stuff done so you can get to the good stuff, the important stuff. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.